page five. Page six. Hi. James Ring Day. See these things on the paper here? They are numbers. So what's so important about numbers when we're talking about English? Well, as a lot of students get confused, um, a little fact here. When do you write out a number? Because sometimes we write them out, and sometimes we actually write the number. Now I'm going to give you one simple rule. So today, I'm going to put this on the board, right? Magic. Today's lesson. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to be a professional, OK? Don't laugh. I'm going to try. I may fall down. OK, so let me see. First mistake, I used the wrong pen. Okay, so I'm going to do Today's lesson will be on numbers. I'm hoping I have some happy fans here. Today's lesson belongs to. See, I'm trying to be professional. Today's lesson will be on numbers. Okay, we got numbers. Oh, sorry, numbers or numbers. Now, when do you write the number? Six hundred and eighty-seven. And when do you write the number? Six hundred. And 80, sorry, ah, 87. When do we write the numbers? Well, I'm going to give you today, say, in the lesson, you like that voice after everything I do? In the lesson, today, <laughs> you will learn. Stopping when it gets irritating, okay? You will learn. Boom. See this watch? Magic. The rule of ten. Ah, okay. You learn one. Number two, you learn three uses of the rule. By the way, I just broke the rule of 10. When we're done the lesson, I want you to figure out where I broke the rule of 10. Because I broke it twice. By the end of this lesson, you'll know what I did wrong. Cool? Well, let's get started. So, in reality, we're going to be teaching you, or I'm going to be teaching you today, about writing numbers out in their numerical form. This is called numerical as in number form. Or writing them out literally, in their literal form. Literally, right? Now, there's a rule of 10, a simple rule of 10. This should be able to help you. So what is the rule of 10? The rule of 10 is this. It's going to sound like math in a second there. But if a number, a number is less than 10, oops, what now? I won't break it. 10 or, <laughs> here we go. Don't get scared. Yeah, see? Okay, it's a simple rule. The rule of 10. Yeah. If a number is less than 10 or divisible by 10, then write, oops, it out, okay? Write it out. So you notice I put 10. 10. 10 is divisible by 10. All right? What's an example you're saying, James, because I am not inclined for math, and here you're trying to teach me math. I came for English, please. One subject at a time. I agree. I don't know if I, what name I should give you. Is it Hill Jr.? Okay, here's an example. Do you remember when I said I was going to give you three examples? I made a mistake. I said, I will write out three examples. Well, this would be poor English. Well, I, I should have said three examples. Right? Why is this correct? Because it's less than 10. See? So if you have a number of situation where it's less than 10, you should write it out. Or if it's divisible by. So another is, uh, example would be, uh, 60 people came 
came to the party. Okay? So let me just use my little handy dandy brush here. Change this one. Okay. So here we have 60 people came to the party. If they came to the park, they would all be dead. They'd be running, ah, and die. <laughs> The part in the land, see, joke part. <laughs> okay, they came to the party. So 60 people came to the party, not 6 0. That would be wrong. Three examples, three examples. This is the correct one. Why? It's less than 10, and this is divisible by 10. 10 goes into this six times. Cool? Great. So that's basically the rule of 10. Now, please keep in mind this. When we're talking about the rule of 10 here, you have to remember what you're writing for. Because if you're writing for a university, or a magazine, or personal writing, or business writing, sometimes the rules change a little bit, so please be aware of that. This rule is a general rule to be used, and you'll usually be right, okay? Now, there are going to be several instances. I'm only giving you three of approximately eight to ten different rules. For scholarly writing, or school writing, the rules that we use to indicate person, like a person like uh, Louis XIV, okay? Uh, or, you know, the 20th century, different ways of writing these things. So please keep that in mind, you might have to check. But usually you're lucky, you'll go to school and they'll give you a book that will tell you the rules for writing for that school. But really, this is generally will be correct. Okay, generally. Cool? Good, now we can go back to the lesson. So that's the rule of 10. We got that? Great. So remember at the end of the lesson I said I made two mistakes? I just told you one. Yeah? Yeah. And two. See if you can remember them, okay? So this is generally the rule of 10. Now, what do we want to talk about after that? Well, I'm going to call this row. Row, 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 row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Michael's just a dream. Oops, sorry, that was in bad taste. Okay, so as I said, we're going to do row. Okay, row. So here's three general rules that will help you remember. One R stands for, let me do it in red so we can get it there, rounded numbers. Okay. O stands for ordinal. And A stands for age. Okay? So let's do a quick overview of each one. So we're going to start off with rounded numbers. So I've got them all up here. So let's do rounded numbers. Now with rounded numbers, they're an approximation, really. A rounded number is an approximation. So because it's an approximate, what we want to do is spell it out. So right now we use two terms, either numerically right, which means the number, or spell it out. Okay? So in this case, with approximate, let's we spell it out. So if there were 60,000 right, 60, people, at the party, okay, then we actually have to write out 60,000. Yeah, nice there. And we actually have to write out 60,000 people, okay? Yeah, missing something here. Yeah. Okay, so we got an approximate, so we say 60,000 people. Okay? Now, if we have really large numbers, and when I say really large numbers, we're talking about in the millions, or the billions, then what happens here is we're actually going to do a mixture. We're going to put something like this, 3.5 million, or billion. So what that means is we have a mixture of numerics, which is numbers, plus spelling it out. Okay, so when you deal with high, high numbers, you do this, you do a mixture. So this is for rounded numbers, or approximate numbers. For cases where you have crowds, or you know, large movements, or concerts, you don't know if there's really 6,741 people, so you just round it up. So when you round it up, you can say 60,000, because it's an approximate, everybody knows. It could be more or less, it doesn't matter. But when we get to millions and billions, we usually do a mixture. Numerically written, and then we spell it out. Okay? That's rounded numbers. What was the other one I said now? Do, 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 do. Well, roa. So we're going to have to build O. O. 
that beautiful number, ordinal. Now, with ordinal numbers, it's a little bit different. The ordinal numbers are nice and easy because it follows the rule of 10. So this one here, we get ordinal numbers. Now, what do we mean by that? The rule of, we're going to put up here, 10, nice red letters. What do we mean by that? Well, what we mean by that is this. If you have first, second, third, or fourth, generally, you're going to write them out, right? So you're going to put down, you'll actually put down first or second, okay? You won't write them down like this. You won't do this. That's wrong, that's bad, okay? So you should do it like this. Now, once again, though, but if we say the 47th, okay, 47th, we follow the rule of 10, so we say 40. Seventh president. Okay? More like this. So it follows the rule of ten. First and second, third, fourth, fifth, like this. Okay? Otherwise we do this and we add the last little th. Now reminding me. Ordinal numbers, just so you know what the notation is, is this. Okay? Now, for number one, we have S T. Number two, N, D. Number three, R, D. And number four, T, H. Some places, however, do note it as just a pure D. Okay? We'll put second and third with just a D, but I usually second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, you know, the rest of these are, right? So first, second. That's how we usually note it. Okay? Cool. There's your notation. And there's your ordinal numbers. It basically follows the rule of 10. But the last one I want to do is the most common one, and you saw that on the board. That will be ages. How old are you? Okay? Age. Okay? So when it comes to age, we usually write out the exact number. We write it out. Or spell out the number. So we spell out the exact numbers. 27, 32, 41, 59. Guess how old I am. I'm older than a fart, but younger than your father. If your father is 100. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, so we spell it out. If we're talking exact numbers, how old is your kid? He's seven. All right? My child is seven. Okay? Now, if it's an approximate number, here's you, you get really lucky. If it's an approximate age, like, let's say, Ezekiel, or Mr. E, you'll see him later, is approximately, this means for approx, approximate, approximately 20. Or you can say 20. So when we're doing approximate ages, you can either use the number, numerical value, or you can actually spell it out. Okay? So you can say it's 20 or 20 when it's an approximate age. When it's exact age, we usually spell it. So, there we go. I tried to be professionals today, and I wrote out for you the what you would learn and everything you would learn in that. So, your rule of 10, plus going through each and every one of them. You notice I fulfilled my vow. This is the first and last time I'll be professional because, quite frankly, it's boring. I like just being spontaneous. And if you don't know what that word means, go to the website, look at the vocabulary. Look for it's spontaneous. See if you can find it, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed it. We learned the rule of 10. What is the rule of 10, boys and girls? Ah, 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 two men, come on, figure it out, what is it? Yeah, let's try to remember. Rule of 10, it's easy, come on. Here's a big 10. What did we say? Under 10, write it out. That's my Arnold Schwarzenegger, like that? Over 10. <laughs> If it's over 10, then no, that's not Arnold. It sounds like a Jamaican Arnold. I don't know. If it's over 10, use numbers. Okay. See? Look at that. Yin and yang, baby. Yin and yang, baby. See, look. Got your little religion in there. Got you? You like it? All right. I got to go. So anyway, we've got our little yin and yang symbol. We've got our... Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's pull the red dot to make it up. We've got our numbers, so we number the rule, rule of 10. Above 10, what do we do? Write out numbers. 647, whatever, right? You're going to write out numbers. Under 10, write it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Now, if it's 
R, remember a rounded number, an approximate number for a larger group, what we're going to do is we're actually going to write out the, right, spell it out, spell out the number, 60,000, 90,000. If we're talking about ordinal numbers, under 10 follows the rule of 10, uh, rule of 10 remember? Write it out above that, then we can actually do it numerically. And then finally, for ages, we like to do it exactly. So we want to write it out, spell it out, right? And if it's approximate, you have the choice of either doing the numerical value or the number, or to write it out. Cool? Well, hope you've enjoyed this lo lesson, this lovely lesson. Okay? Do, 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 do. See, it was so professional, Mr. E didn't make an appearance. I bet you missed Mr. E. <laughs> you play on words, Mr. E. Mr. E, because if he was here, he would say, dumbass, if you want to teach him anymore, send them to... Where? www. Boom, boom. This is a tribute to Elvis now. www. Boom, boom. I'm going to ingvid.com. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ingvid.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you next time.